Also, also appearing on the panel for 2008 was a surprise guest, Wendy Peeney, the creator of the awesome fan favorite Elf Quest. Peeney was thrilled to be on the panel to promote her new gay themed futuristic sci fi horror graphic novel series, Mask of the Red Death. With a personality as exciting as her talent, here's Wendy Peeney. Um, well, what some of you may or may or may not know is that at one time, our fabulous host, Andy Mangles, uh, worked for my company, Warp Graphics, as a writer for ElfQuest. And um, when Andy came on board, he was very, very respectful of the integrity of our characters. And he was also a bit shy. Andy was shy. <laughs> uh, but he finally came forward and said, are there any gay elves? And, well, we said, well, uh, yes, of course, there, there are elves in relationships and elf quests that certainly could be classified as gay, I suppose, but in their culture and language, they don't have those labels. And uh, uh, our working relationship was very comfortable <laughs> because of that. Um, it, uh, the thing of it was, though, that um, even though the elves didn't have those labels, we needed the word gay just to talk about that subject uh, and uh, the wonderful thing is that things are getting better. Um, they're, they're changing in a big way. Uh, Hollywood and the comics industry is beginning to realize more and more that uh, stories that have gay characters and gay themes are making money and, <laughs> and numbers, numbers talk. So things are changing, but, but in some ways not fast enough. For example, in our efforts to get my new graphic novel, Mask of the Red Death, turned into a Broadway-style musical, we're getting feedback from some producers who have said, well, this is, this is new and different and edgy and dark. Uh, uh, you know, we're all for it. It, it. Just all you have to do is change Stefan and Anton to Stephanie and Anton, and we can do business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hell to the no. Yeah. <laughs> it's Anton and Stefan, or we don't do business. <laughs> Things are getting better. We just have to keep pushing and pushing until it gives. And until that time, I am so honored to be included among this very wonderful gathering of talent and, and forward-thinking and brave and courageous people and the celebration of this 25-year amazing panel, the longest-running panel in the history of Comic-Con. In 2009,